Hello guys, this is Zomton here with Ruin Gaming, bringing you my third and final video to my mini series for explaining the new features of Mr. Pandaria. Make sure you subscribe to the Ruin channel for more amazing videos, as well as go check out my personal channel and spiders. Now let's dive right into class changes coming up in Mr. Pandaria. And we will be starting with Hunters. Hunters will no longer be using melee weapons, and this has to do because they are taking wing clip and concussion shot out of the game, so they will only be using ranged weapons. Also, Hunters will no longer have a dead zone, and all range slots for other classes are gone. Relics are also gone, so this means rogues and warriors will just throw their melee weapons if they need to. And for all you wannabe wizards out there, all casters will have a wand for the main hand. Now for Warlocks, they will be putting unique resources in for each spell. In Affliction, you will still be using Soul Shards, which will be used for the spells. Demonology will get Demonic Fury, which will then transform you into the demon form after you do the number of spells it needs. And last, in Destruction, you will get Infernal Embers, which will give you an increase in damage after doing the number of spells it needs. For Shaman, they will be removing all of the buff totems, so they will just have the buffs on them at all times. So now that means that all totems will now be utility. Some of the new totems they will be giving to the Shamans will be Earth Grab, which roots enemies, Repulsive Totem, which repels, and Bulwark, which exorbs. Now for druids, they are giving them 4 specs. They will now have resto for healing, balance for range dps, feral for melee dps, and guardian for tank. Now the feral spec will have some of the abilities for bear, and guardian will still have some of the abilities for cat. So they aren't just splitting it straight down the middle, there's going to be some mixture. And for all classes, they are doing a cleanup in the spells, glyphs, and new talents. They are improving the rotations, and you will automatically learn new spells. Next, I will be talking about the new class, Monk. As a monk, you will wear cloth or leather. For weapons, you will mostly be using fist weapons, but you can also use one-handed axes, one-handed maces, and one-handed swords. Also, you can use pole arms or staves. Now for the specs, Brewmaster will be for tanking, Windwalker will be for melee DPS, and Mistweaver will be for healing. They will be using two resources like a Death Knight. They will use Chi, which is energy, for their jab attack and rolling. The jab will generate light or dark force, which will then be used for all other spells. They will have no auto attack because they will just be using jab for it. The last thing I will be talking about for this series is the new race Pandarian. Pandarians will be starting on a turtle. They will be a neutral faction, so at level 10, you'll pick if you want to go Horde or Alliance. The racial spell for PvP will be putting the target to sleep for 3 seconds. And all their other racials will be an increased benefit from food, their cooking skill will be increased by 15, their rested XP will last twice as long, and they will take 50% less falling damage. One thing before I wrap this video up is that you will not be able to fly till you are level capped. They are doing this so you can see the world while you're leveling up and you don't spend all your time in your major city. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you missed out on the first video or the second video, make sure and go check them out. The music was by Claypex and I will talk to you guys later.